Like there's a lot of ways of doing project management. And I think one of the best things a scheduler could do in the early phases of the project is to ask probing questions to figure out who they're talking with. So for example, be like, if I was to create you a schedule, would you like it to be the most detailed schedule possible so that we can do all of this analysis? Or would you like it to be just in your inbox as fast as possible with the major milestones? Now, remember, you did it. We were, we were supposed to, this mess, this was for the project managers. And there you go, talking back to the schedulers. So mm -hmm. we got to slightly modify that question. I think it's the same thing, but it's just the project manager asking to the scheduler, listen, scheduler, you know, right now we're going to just take the 18 month construction that we had agreed to. We're going to revisit that in a little bit, but what I need to do is really start fleshing out design timelines. Can you go look at the past three projects, four projects with these design companies we used and did any of them actually finish the design when they said they were going to, you know, Hey, can we start yeah. looking at these permit timelines, please? And I want this laid out, you know, in a spreadsheet, whatever you can do, right? Like I just is company to company, but that's where I would start pushing my scheduler. Come bring that back to me. And then we're going to have that d discussion on, on risk. You're spot on there. I think to flip it around the other way, what I'd say is that project managers need to be incredibly specific with the document that they're asking the scheduler to produce. And I say document because scheduling is fundamentally to the outside world, a delivery function, as in you produce documents, even if it's like an analysis and scenarios, it's still documents. It's exactly what you're asking them to produce because Generally, you'll get exactly what you're asking for. 